Oh, what have I come across here? What's all that about? Hmm, we'll definitely have to figure that out. But first, I wish to gain a little bit more. I believe I wanted to. Yeah, I wanted to actually head here. I really do fancy getting some more. Uh... Artifacts. Oh, hello. What's going on over here? Just give us a few extra ship repair parts, please. Done. Can't stay here gabbing all day. Fly safe. You too. Right. So let's get to this planet and uh, get me a lovely artifact. Landing commencing. Hey, gang. Hey, Sarah. I'm ready to listen. Happy to listen. Um, are you ready to head back out? Always. Point the way and we'll be off. Lovely. Let's go. Good day, Captain. It's actually been quite lonely just exploring this world on my, uh, well, this universe on my own for a little bit. I've actually missed everyone. <laughs> Let's look. Let's use this thing, shall we? Yeah, maybe stick with this then. What do we have here? Varun. Oh. Ooh, that went through that, didn't it? Seek cover at once. Ooh, hello. I thought I saw something else then. Lovely. It's always nice to get some more bandages and aid. I tend to hurt myself less in the uh, ballistic weapons. Oh, I missed that. Never mind. Well, this great serpent is a bit of a, a noob. Definitely not that way. Lights on. Here we go. There we 
Ecke. Right, Sarah, let's head back to uh, that place where we received that signal. Ooh. With me, Sarah? Is this place abandoned? Oh, I love the trees here and the bushes. That's quite nice. Doesn't look abandoned. It's got the lights on and stuff. I'm responding to a distress call kind of thing. What? We haven't sent a distress signal. Nothing on the comms. No other ships in the system since our last supply drop. Look, what are you trying to pull here? Um, it said there was an explosion in a high energy research lab. from out here and you go do what you need to do just be careful oh well step forward step hey You can probably turn the scanners off now, right? Ethan Hughes, Chief of Security. If you'll follow me, I'll show you to the director. Let's go. We'll take the back way up. Okay, cool. Oh, this place is nice and clean and lovely. Look at this. Reminds me of the clinic. Yeah, you can see our lovely storage area. Don't touch anything. Ah, it's a bit messy now, isn't it? <laughs> So, uh, what the hell is going on? What? Oh, God, what? Uh, what's happening to me? What, what's going on? I suppose... Whilst in hell, just pick locks as you wish, I guess. Uh, this is strange. Advanced assassins. Where the? Oh my! Hell is going on here? I don't know. I was here, but everything was destroyed. What? One minute, you're following me, and then you're just gone. 
Minute later, you pop in out of nowhere, looking like you were in the middle of a fight. I was. But there's nothing here. I should have never let you inside. What is this? Some kind of stealth tick. Who are you working for? Oh, no, no. I, I don't know any more than you do. Look, I don't know what's going on. Let's get you to the director. Maybe she can figure this out. Come on. This way. Keep the lamp on. The hell was that? Oh. Hello? Oh, oh, thank God. Finally, someone came. The distress signal. You picked up the distress signal, right? Yeah, I got your distress signal. It's been so long. I'm out of food, out of water, but I made it. I. Wait, how did you get in here? Hughes was talking. Uh, well, Hughes was taking me to the director, and then I was just here. Hughes? Ethan Hughes? But he's dead. No. No, no, no. This doesn't make any sense. Unless the accident. Maybe. Maybe this is a side effect of the accident. If the probe is still feeding power to the distortion then slow down let's 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 hear more about this accident right sorry three months ago i was calibrating an experiment in our high energy research lab there was an accident an explosion it caused a gas leak sparked a fire i was trapped in the control room there was nothing I could do. They're... They're all dead. Were you experimenting on an artifact? An artifact? You mean... The metallic god? God... Damn it. Wait. He's back. Alright. We're on our way up. He was out. I was just filling in the director. Let's keep moving. What was... Who was that? The director's office is on the second floor, end of the hall. You can't miss it. Maybe that. Oh yeah. Okay. Doctor Barkov's journal. This slate contains personal injury. Okay. There's a hydrogen leak. The explosion must have ruptured something. Oh, the research level is in the ventilation system. We can't contain it or lock it up from here. Users is just trying to reset the system. At least caught the air interchange. Oh, okay. Well, she must have died suddenly then. As she was sitting in the chair. Wow. A gas leak did this, or did... What the hell happened?
Oh dear, okay. I'm with you, I'm with you. research director and this is our chief scientist maria hughes ethan said you disappeared right in front of him twice now three times director you can't be taking this seriously look i don't know who you are or what you're doing here but there has to be a rational explanation for all of this i'm shifting to an alternative universe or something that's what i can you know, you found an artifact and you have no idea what you're dealing with. An artifact? You mean the source of the distortion? No, we don't. Enlighten us. I've seen what they can do, that's why I'm here. They're connected to the multiverse, countless of other realities. The multiverse? Other universes? You're right. This is well beyond anything we were prepared for. And you have some connection with them, then. Interesting. I wonder if that's why this is only affecting you. Whatever this is, I keep shifting to another universe, clearly. This is uh, quite maddening, really. That is quite a claim. What makes you think that? Tell us about this other universe. It's burnt out. Raphael is, uh, was the only survivor. Raphael? Raphael died in the accident. He... Wait. Burned out? The leak. Director, there was a hydrogen leak right after the accident. It was contained in a minute or two. But if it hadn't been, it could well have caused an explosion. Another universe, though. That's a lot to swallow. Hmm. Oh. Is there some way to help him? You mean this other Raphael? No. How could we possibly do that? Raphael was a colleague and a friend. If there was some way to help him, I would. But it does seem unlikely. You said the gas leak was contained? How? We're not sure. Raphael was in the lab near the ventilation controls. He could have stopped it. Maybe he did. Or died trying. Tell me about the accident. This facility and the research level two kilometers beneath us were built to study a gravitational distortion. This artifact and the field it creates. Three months ago, our chief engineer, Raphael, was calibrating an experimental probe when something went wrong. We still don't know what happened. There was a series of explosions and somehow it's still running. Raphael said the probe was feeding power into the distortion. That would make sense. That's why the field strength keeps increasing. We have a control unit for the probe. After the accident, I tried to use it to shut down the system, but the kill switch isn't responding. We could shut it off manually, but the entire research level is locked down. We can't even get down there. We have to find a way to stop this. I told you the research level's locked down. We can't even use the damn elevator. Maybe I could in the other universe? What? Clever. In this other universe, Raphael survived. He made it back from the lab. So clearly his elevator works. Take it. And you might be able to shut down the experiment. This is crazy. But first, we have to do something about your shifting. I'm open to suggestions. Maria, do any of the other controls still work? Could we adjust the particle sampling rate or the beam voltage? You can't be serious. We have no idea what we're doing. This thing is already tampering with space-time. If this gets any worse... It may also get worse if we do nothing. Right now, this seems to be our only path forward. <sighs> All right. It's worth a try. Then it sounds like we have a plan. Come with me. The control unit is in a fabrication lab next door. Okay. 
what have we gotten ourselves into? I don't know. Ah. I can hear you, but sometimes it Ooh. It's a bit hard to hear you sometimes. an eye out for oh, we've been this way uh, it's hard to keep track of the universes um ah oh oh it's you what happened you disappeared and the ceiling caved in and and I thought I'd finally lost it. I met with the director. We have to shut down the probe. What? How? Look, if you think things are bad up here, the research level is even worse. I barely made it out, and that was months ago. I don't understand any of this. If I hadn't seen you disappear with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. I... Okay, okay. You're my ticket out of here. We'll do this your way. We can get out through the pantry. Here's the key. I'll back you up, I guess. Thanks. Alright, you got any, uh... Loot? Right, I'll try and can I help? Are you with me, Raphael? Maybe just stay a little bit back. Damn it. Hello. Right, it require all requires a key. Hey, don't, don't run everyone, I'm 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 in another universe now. Yeah, there you are. This must be confusing for you too. Hey, Raph. Look at this. It's going to take hours to clear this out. Assuming the rest of the building doesn't come down on top of us. Can you tell me about the accident? I was in the lab, working on the frequency calibration for the probe. I was walking out of the control room when it happened. I heard the tanks rupture. The alarm sound. I only had a second to react. I jumped back into the control room. The door sealed. I was safe. From the gas. The fire. Everything. But I was trapped. There was nothing I could do to stop it. If I had gone the other way, maybe I could have made it to the ventilation controls. Killed the system. Even if it killed me. I don't know. I don't want to think about it. I think that's what you did in the other universe, mate. Where are these creatures coming from? They're a native species. We had an electric pulse field to keep them out. The fire took out the generators, damaged the foundation. They just keep coming. What will happen when I shut down the probe? I'm not sure. It might stop whatever's happening to you. It's a reasonable theory, I guess. 
What now? Looks like a dead end. How should I know? You're the one who keeps winking in and out of existence. I just want to get out of here. Go do whatever you're going to do. I'll see if I can clear a path to the door. Okay. Hey, oh. What? I... Oh, it's you. You realize you just booked into my locked office. So much for security protocols. Just trying to get to the fabrication lab. It's uh It's a bit of a strange ride right now. Uh sure. Down the hall. Take the stairs next to the atrium. Yeah. Let me get the doors for you. And uh, is there anything else you need? No. I just imagine I'll be teleporting around in a little bit. Are there any scorpions native to this planet? Uh, yes. Kataxi. Nasty things. The original survey team ran across them. You're welcome to read the old logs if you want. Yeah, I'll unlock the terminal for you. I'm, I'm good for, like, weapons and stuff. Uh, what can you tell me about the research lab? Bigger than you'd expect. We've got a particle accelerator, whole lab complex, the high energy research lab. Real state of the art. Can't tell you what a tenth of it actually does. Okay. The director said the research level is locked down? That's right. Has been since the accident. We can't connect to the control system to override it. The whole system's on a hair trigger. Cameras spot anyone not in the staff database. They fire off an alarm and all hell breaks loose. Okay. Alright, thanks for, uh... Retrieve... Wait, oh. <laughs> uh. I see you, come here. There's no way out either. Oh. Feeling, yep. Natural born predators, very ambushy, very good at it, and it's not nice. I head back, do I? No. Hey. What, did you get lost in the hallway? Yes, I was blocked by another universe. <sighs> right. This is the probe control unit. Most of these controls aren't responding. I'm going to very carefully adjust the settings I can. There's no way to tell what's about to happen. Pay attention and be ready for anything. I'll begin by adjusting the energy feed of the electron beam array. We're at 93 terabolts. Calibrating to 95, 97, 100. Ugh, nothing. Let's try the other way. 91, 89, what the? Okay, okay. It looks safe to approach, but what in the world? Huh. 
recognize this kind of thing. It's a micro distortion. Flux pattern matches the distortion in the lab. The setting is just exposing it somehow. Hmm. Step into the distortion, please. All right. Hmm. Nothing. No, hold on. There's a slight pattern change. Some kind of resonance. All right, stay there. Let me turn the feedback up for a moment. Calibrating to 90. Okay. Oh, hello. Ah, if I could just calibrate the probe now. Are you all right? It worked. So the lower setting causes the distortions to manifest, and the higher causes you to shift. That seems promising. Keep it on the lower setting until you want to shift, and you should be able to avoid any more accidents. I'd give you my control unit, but it looks like you already have one from the other universe. I'd love to take a look at that when this is all over. All right, time to shut down this generator thing. Right. If you can get down to the research level, you need to make your way to the high energy research lab. Disengage the power interlocks, then pull the emergency shutdown to stop the probe. That should finally put an end to all this. Oh, and before you go, the director wanted to speak with you. It really is just down the hall. So that leads me back to there. Hopefully this will stop me from shifting, but... Ooh. Oh. No one did make it, didn't they? They probably got instantly vaporized. Shortly after midnight, a series of explosions in the high energy research lab triggered a security lockdown. A brief release of hydrogen gas was detected in the air interchange, uh, interchange system, along with particles indicative of a major collapse or severe damage to the lab facilities. Chief Engineer Hughes cancelled the lockdown from the surface facility, but all communications with the research level and its control systems have been lost. Chief Engineer R. Aguro is missing presumed dead. Security logs indicate he is alone in the lab. The incident, all the personnel accounted for, no other injuries. I thought they were instantly killed. Boo! Hey. Well then, all set? If you need supplies, I've asked Dr. Barakova to take care of you. It's the least I can do after everything we put you through. Before you go, there is one other thing we should discuss. If this experiment is the cause of your shifting, when you shut it down, the shifting will stop. What happens then? To you and to us. It's Rodinder's box. Two potential states. Exactly. And when you shut down the experiment, the probability function will collapse. You are the outside observer in the system. Whichever reality you are in, at that moment, is what will become real. For you and your universe, at least. The question is, which will you choose? Can I ask some questions? Of course. There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. What do you think I should do? Hmm. If this were a choice between my life and Raphael's, I would ask you to save him. But as the director of the station, I am responsible for the lives of my staff. 
30 people. People with families, careers, futures ahead of them. In this universe. I suppose you're right. What about everything outside of Nishina? Nothing will change. Nothing can change. If the universe was other than it was, you would not be here to make this choice. What you choose will be what happened in your universe, the universe that brought you to this point. What will happen to the other universe? I don't know. I'm not sure it's possible to know. It may cease to exist. It was one possible universe, but not what actually happened. We or Raphael actually did die months ago. Or it may remain real, just not in your universe. Or in some quantum sense, perhaps you make both choices and both outcomes would be real. Welcome to quantum mechanics. Mm, all right. Have you reached a decision? Well, you make a pretty good choice. So I'm going to choose you, this universe. More people in it sounds a better thing to me. More lives to live, more things to experience. It's not an easy decision, but I am grateful. Thank you. Now, it's time you are going. With the network offline, we can't shut down the security system on the research level, so you can expect some resistance. Be careful. Ethan, unlock the elevator lobby, please. Ma'am, research level is still locked down. I'm aware of that. I... All right. Done. Good luck, dear. It's been a fascinating day. It really has. It's been something, hasn't it? Such a strange day. But I do think choosing this universe, like this person here. Who are you? Okay. Hello. Hello. It's probably approaching people whilst they're sleeping is not a good idea. Like, they're all dead in this universe, so it's not a good thing to have, is it? I'd definitely be prefer being on this one. Oh, where's that? Uh, let's get the optional supplies. It could always help us out. Hey. Tatiana Barakova, station's doctor. This is not a public medical facility, but the director has ordered me to assist you nonetheless. I can spare a few med packs. Beyond that, I am not your therapist, your psychologist, or your cosmetologist. If there's anything else you need, ask. I think you should see this. My journal? Have you been in my quarters? Who do you think you are? The director may have given you run of this station, but I... Wait. Wait. What is this? This entry... It's mine, but I didn't write this. And the scorch marks. God. Now you believe me? Yes. Yes, I do. I can spare a few more supplies. And I'll give you a break on anything else you need. Thank you, Doc. Right. Okay, let's, uh... Let's untangle this mess of universes and let's figure out what to actually do. I definitely think keeping all these people alive is the best idea. Yes. I don't like the idea of only having one person alive in the other universe. Let's get to it. 